Puleta, the cheetah mother, and her four cubs are on the move. No longer able to base herself in a single spot, she needs to march in search of suitable prey animals. It's tough going for little legs. Time for a rest. But this shady spot is already occupied. And a family of vervet monkeys are now stranded. Vervets are hardly first choice on a cheetah's menu, but one of the cubs can't resist a quick monkey hunt. For this little one, practice has made perfect. Tree climbing is now routine. A hyena. Time to move on. The hyena isn't staying around either. Kuleta has entered an area dominated by Africa's top predator. There are more lions here than anywhere else on Earth. And lions kill cheetahs. <coughs> as a single mother, Coletta has to work double duty as both provider and protector. She needs to remain vigilant if they're to survive these dangerous new neighbors. Kuleta's relentless search for food is pushing her deeper into the heart of lion country. It's a risk she has to take. All the prey is now concentrated in this area. For the little ones, class is always in session. Thompson's gazelles are Coletta's favoured prey here. <coughs> Cheetahs have lightning acceleration, 0 to 97 kilometres an hour in less than three seconds. But they need the element of surprise. Letters blown it. She must conserve her strength for the next hunt. No meat for the little ones today. At four months old, they're almost completely weaned. But they still take the occasional milk feed.
suckling affirms the bond between mother and cubs. But milk won't sustain the cubs for long. Kuleta desperately needs to secure her family a meal. In Naboisho, things are looking up for Kuleta. The long grass gives her cover, shortening the striking distance. A narrow escape But it's not the mother that Kuleta is after. The fawn is still here, hidden in this sea of grass. It's almost completely odorless, and to a cheetah, looks just like a rock. As long as it stays absolutely still. The mother gazelle tries to lure Coletta away from her baby. But with four hungry mouths to feed, Coletta's not easily distracted. It's hide and seek with the ultimate stakes. She's found it. She calls the cubs to her side. This is a learning opportunity for her family. Possibly cruel. But if the cubs are to make it to adulthood, they have to learn how to handle live prey. The cubs must feed first. These are lean pickings, and there isn't enough for Kuleta, too. But that might be about to change. The mother gazelle inches forward, driven by maternal instinct. Hunting at dusk risks attracting the attention of other predators, but Coletta desperately needs a meal. The cubs abandon the fawn and head to Kuleta, but these are dangerous maneuvers. There's very little cover in this part of Naboisho, and the commotion hasn't gone unnoticed.
Hey Love Nature fans, be sure to like and subscribe to catch all our wild animal stories. Get closer to nature right here on YouTube.